Hey everybody, I'm Paul. Welcome to the channel. You know, the other day I did a rant video. I was really complaining because YouTube videos were and are taking forever to upload and sometimes it just drives me nuts. But I'm not going to go on about that now because I have a partial solution to the problem. I can't make your computer and your internet provider upload videos faster, but what I can do is show you something that I've been using to dramatically make the file smaller so it does upload faster because it's a smaller file. And the best part is it doesn't seem to lose any bit of quality. And for those people that do make a lot of YouTube videos, that like to store their videos, this is a real blessing because roughly from what I've seen it seems to cut the things down by about a quarter. Um, after I do something uh, on my JVC camera I upload to my computer I drop it in the Windows Movie Maker I save it off normally that's what I would upload to YouTube now I run it through a little app and it seems like it takes it down to roughly a quarter of the original size Come on and check it out. I'll show you what I've been doing. Alright guys, this is Ed Ferguson. He's the one that originally gave me this tip a while back in a video. And his channel is down here, What You Waiting For. And I'll put a um, in the description a link to his uh, original video where he did a tip on handbrake. And he shows you how to use it, as I will in the rest of this tutorial. This is what the website looks like. And you'll can come down here and you'll see reasons you'll love handbrake convert video from nearly any format free and open source multi-platform works on windows works on mac and linux so you can download it here we already have it okay so this is how handbrake looks like very simple there's nothing that you have to change i use it just as it is right out of the box the best thing about it of course is it's free so I've got a little video that is a one minute long clip of my dog singing. So let's go to source and hit open file. It's on my desktop and I've got it called something about dog. So it is dog sings. Let's open it. All right, here it has source dog sings. So it's all set up. The only thing we need to do is tell it where we want it to put the compressed file so I want to dump that onto my desktop also and I'm just going to call it simply dog for short <coughs> dog so now it's all ready to go it's going to put it to desktop as dog now all I do is click the green start button and it is working and it's a very small print at the bottom but it's saying it's going to be about a minute and a half to do it. The original clip is one minute long. Okay, so that took about a minute 30. So we are done with this. It did the job. Now let's look at the file sizes. Here is our original. Now keep in mind this is only a one minute video. And originally it was 170 megs. The new file is where dog. And the new file is 56 meg. Okay, so you went from 170 meg to to 56 meg. That's a savings. It's about a third of the size. A little less than. So you can see now. If you have bigger files, it really makes a big difference. It uh, doesn't seem to change the quality at all as far as uh, the upload to YouTube. It sure does save your time because instead of, for this one minute clip, instead of uploading a 170 meg file, you're only uploading a 56 meg file. So that's going to take you considerably less time. So guys, thanks for your time. Thanks for checking out my video. Thanks to Ed for the original tip. I just thought I wanted to share it with you guys because it's working for me. It's not a total answer to the problem, but it is a nice little uh, workaround. 
it will save you some uploading time and it will also save you a whole bunch of uh, hard disk space if you're into saving your videos thank you for your time thank you for your support and we'll see ya